Hello, good afternoon. This is Monday, September the 21st. I do thank God for this day. And, uh, you know, I could be living. To be living and to be alive. Um, I was talking to my people about uh, this, this slogan called YOLO. And uh, I'm going to get right to the point. Be direct. Uh, it's the devil's devil slogan you only live once you only live one time hmm. really yeah <laughs> you don't really live only just one time because if you don't have Jesus as your Lord and Savior uh, you will experience eternal damnation in hell you don't you don't do what feels right like that's that 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 goes aligned with YOLO. Oh, you only do what feels right and, you know, so if I supposed to just want to just rob somebody, I'm just supposed to just rob it because I feel like I, I need some money and I feel like that person got money, so I feel like I just need to go and just knock them off. Oh, I feel like I want to just sleep with somebody, so I'm just supposed to just do it. I feel like I want to go steal a car, so I'm, I'm going to do it. Oh, it feels right. YOLO, YOLO. Devil's slogan. And I believe a lot of our our uh, children and a lot of believers are participating in that slogan. Christians, we're we're we're, we're we we need to we need to we need to be careful about certain associations and things that we uh, associate ourselves with. And people who you talk to, um, like that's why I thank the Lord for for him in 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 the Bible. How you talk about casting down the high thought, casting down them high thoughts, like. Because around my age and around the age group, my peers, because I'm 25, is, uh, you know, you sleep, you do this, you drink, you smoke, you turn up, you do all that. And, you know, but who you turning up and doing all that for? Who you think is pleased with all that? I don't think God is pleased with all that. He still may love you, but he's not pleased with the with the with the toxins and the poisons that you that you're damaging yourself with. I know the devil loves it, though. You know, oh, yeah, YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. We love hollering that out, but. You gotta look at who you turning up and who you who you praising. Who who loves when you destroy yourself? Because smoking and drinking and all that stuff, it does destroy yourself. Tell me something good about it. Nothing. It ain't nothing good about it. Oh, YOLO, you only live once, so I'm just supposed to just party my life away. Get drunk. Some people be getting killed because they driving drunk. But YOLO. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. And it just it just so sad to me that uh the believers us we're allowing ourselves to get sucked in into the high thoughts of the world like just because you want to stand on God's principles and be steadfast and and not sleep around and being promiscuous and go clubbing and all this other stuff and because you want to set your life right walk righteously live righteously and you know try to do the things that God wants you to do you're lame or you're square, you all this other stuff. But like I said, us believers, we 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 more willing to please our friends and to please people more than God. God doesn't like a man pleaser because somebody watching you, you want to act spiritual, and then you want to be like praise God, and then the next thing you know, when you're around a bunch of people who raising hell and and doing drugs and all this other stuff, oh, and then you act like them. It's like lukewarm. You got your foot in the world and then foot out of the world. But God said He'll spew you out your He'll spew out His mouth. You know, it's it's good for it's good for you not even to know God than to have a yoke upon your neck. You doing all these things, all these things, trying to please people when really deeply, rudely, the people don't even care about you. We try to please people, but on judgment day when Jesus come and when the rapture and everything start happening, oh, who gonna be right there? Just you, your homeboy and your homegirl not going to be there that you trying to please and do this for. Going by YOLO, God, like I put something down deep inside of you. I gave you a gift. You was brought with a price by my blood, my son's blood. You know you had a calling on your life, but you're too busy living by this YOLO symbol. Knowing deep down in your heart and in your soul that I am God and God alone. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the, finish, the author and the finisher of your faith. You know that you were supposed to stand out, be holy, separated. I declared you righteous. You're the Jess. 
the just shall live by faith. You supposed to be on my side, but because you are afraid and you want to walk with the world, you got better things to do and you want to do what they want to do. You want to please them. And God is a jealous God. You can't please God trying to please men. You can't do it. You can't serve God and mammon. You either would despise and love the other. And you, us believers living by the YOLO sign, not casting down the high thought, not standing strong in God's word, not being steadfast, steadfast, unshakable, unmovable. We living right. We living. We're living and doing what the devil wants us to do. Also, like how I say, God help those who help themselves. No, that's not true at all. Benjamin Franklin said that. Oh, yeah, that's the high thought. That's the hot dog, because it sounds right. And in the Bible, it does say, uh, it does say that uh, it's a way that seems right into a man, but at the end, there's destruction. You see, we we feeling these things, and we feel like they're right, but really deep down, is it pleasing to God? Is it right? You know? Nah, there ain't nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with shacking up and racking up. You know, we can live together. No, it is something wrong with that. Because if you and your spouse and or your girlfriend or whatever, y'all love God, do you, don't you think that the enemy will try to tempt y'all to try to sleep with each other? You know, the devil doesn't like us. That's our real enemy, you know? And in the Bible, it does say, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. You know, we, we, we need each other because this world is ending. This world is going down. These are the last days. Every day you cannot get back every time that you lose. So what's the what is the reason to, to live your life in sin? What is the reason to do that? The why why do you want to have a weight over your head knowing that you are not saved? Knowing that you need to get saved. Know that the Lord is tugging at your heart, but you still don't want to do it because you still want to live and party with the world. But I was reading in Matthew how that we are in the, the we're in the last days. These are the beginning of sorrows, storms, and divers of places. Iniquity is rising. That's why the love in this world is waxing cold. You know, it's, it's time to get into the word. Read the word. You know, turn the TV off. Turn all this, all this mess off. Off television. Because look, television. Telling a vision. That means tell lie vision. Notice I said that. Lying. The TV is lying. And so many people want to emulate the television instead of emulating Jesus, instead of walking with Jesus. We love to scream out that we saved and all that. But when it's time to do what we have to do, we get lazy when it's coming to Jesus. But we have a lot of energy and we go party with it. When it's time to go party in a club on Friday night or Saturday night, oh, we got so much energy to turn up for the devil. But we don't want to turn up and we don't want to do what we need to do for Jesus. We, 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 we turn off our light. Like in Matthew 5, 16, when they say, make your light so shine before men. When we get around people that we know we can minister to and say something to, we turn down the light because of what they saying and because of how they doing it. But a real friend will not lead you astray. A real friend will not tell you to do something wrong. A real friend wouldn't get you in trouble. A real friend will tell you the truth because they love you and they trying to save you and you need to hear it. That's what they would tell you. We're not casting down the high thoughts. We're using this YOLO symbol. That's the devil slogan. All the things that are contrary against God's word. We're not renewing our mind with the word of God. It says that in Romans 12. If you read the whole chapter. In the beginning of the chapter. Verses 1, 2, or 3. How we need to renew our mind. You know. With the word of God. We're renewing our mind with what the, what the TV say. But what a love and hip hop saying and what they doing and what they talking about. Gossip, bull crap, mess. Paul said in the Bible that all things are permissible. You can do all these things in the world. Smoke, drink, do all this type of stuff. But is it going to be beneficial to your spiritual growth? You got to live a little. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> when I really go and be with the Father and in the meeting in the air with Jesus Christ, and when I enter into the kingdom of heaven, all Christians and believers, that's when you're really going to be living. We're just pilgrims passing through. This is not where we're from. That's why when I talk about Christ, talk of, I mean, when I talk about Christ, I meant to say, I'm, I'm rambling because I'm so fired up. When I go talk about God to certain people, they crucify, they, they persecute you, they call your names and all this other stuff. 
But Jesus said in the last days that we're going to be hated. We're going to be hated for his name's sake. And that's what's happening. Getting hated for his name's sake. But I'd rather get persecuted and rejected by the world for following Jesus than to be to be going to jail for rape and, and, and for molesting and for, for doing things the devil want me to do. I'd rather get persecuted for Jesus Christ. Because he took our punishment and died for us. So that YOLO symbol, I want to stick to the YOLO symbol. But, you know, it's a lot of other things on my heart and that things need to be said. Like I said, we're not staying steadfast. God is looking for true believers, not the ones who just lip servicely say, oh, Lord, I love you. But deep down in your heart, you don't believe nothing. You don't even understand the word. But because you having a conversation and you go around a group of people, oh, I'm saved too. But are you living it? Are you walking righteously? I know we're not perfect. I'm not perfect either. But you have to say yes and say no to sin. You have to walk in the spirit and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. You have to make up in your mind and know that it's going to be things that try to come against you spiritually. We, re we don't wrestle against uh, flesh and blood. We wrestle against spirits in high places. That's what we wrestle against. You can read that in Ephesians 6. That's what we're wrestling against. It's just time for us believers to wake up. Stop saying you're saved and still living like how the devil wants you to do. Put Jesus on the shelf and then go do what the devil wants you to do. I'm going to clean myself up before I walk in the church doors. Oh, yeah, hallelujah. Be religious and play. Play church and then come out and just like you ain't get no word or nothing. We remember a rap song quicker than we remember a scripture. It's a lot of young people around my age and people around this world that say they say don't even probably have no favorite scripture. And then love to use the I'm not perfect card to still sin and do what you want to do. Is, is, is your sin strong enough to the point that when Jesus come back, you still doing it? You could be don't 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 let the sky crack. And Jesus coming through the clouds and you still walking and living in sin. That's dangerous. Repent of your sins. Turn away from your sins. Not do a 360. Turn away 180 wise. Go 180 and walk in a new way. Repentance mean turn away from your wicked ways. Let Jesus be in control of your life. You stop controlling your life. You let the Lord control your life. And then everything will be right and right. Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek the Lord first. We're seeking uh, people, approval, friendships, instead of Jesus. We always want God to do something for us, but we never ask the Lord. We never say, Lord, what I want to do for you. Lord, I want to change, and I want to do this while I have time and life. Because YOLO is wrong, like I said. If you don't get Jesus in your life and in your heart, hell fire. You will be going. Stop listening to the world. Cast down those high thoughts that go against God's word. And let's improve, brothers and sisters. Even myself, I have to improve. I have to stay strong. I have to be ministered to so I can minister to others. I'm learning. I'm growing the same way. But I'm sorry. I have to say what I have to say. God bless. I'm just trying to get it together. All these slogans. God help those who help themselves. Not true. Benjamin Franklin said that. But soon as it's, it's said in the world, it trends all over. And, and even believers just, just take it and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Benjamin, God help those who help themselves. He was helping us before we can even help ourselves. That's not true. <laughs> it's just time to just wake up. It really is time to wake up. God has a calling and we are here for a reason. And the devil's job is... To trip and mess with the believer. Soon as you get saved, he doesn't like that. So any distraction, any weakness, anything that happens, boom. He's gonna try to throw it up on you. God doesn't tempt us. Temptation is a lustful desire that dwells deep inside the individual. Like God didn't tempt you to steal no money. God ain't tempt you to do that. God don't tempt with evil. He doesn't tempt the person with evil things. That'd be the devil, the accuser of the brethren. The author of confusion, the master of lies who put stuff in your mind and in your spirit and you go off of it and do it. And then you try to blame God for it. No, 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 not true at all. God is merciful. God is loving. God is love. So why would he do that? You know, you need to stop listening to the talk shows, 
Need to stop listening to the love and hip hops and all this other stuff. All the stuff that go against God's word, the TV telling lies, emulating rappers and stars. Why won't emulate Jesus? Emulate Jesus Christ. Emulating Nicki Minaj and we know Young Thug music. We know this, but we won't emulate Jesus, the one who can save. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. You cannot enter into heaven without Jesus. You need Jesus to make it in this world, in this life that we're living in. This is temporarily. The things that we see right now are temporarily, but the unseen is eternal. 